Hello beautiful Pisces, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, glad you stopped by, thank you. Welcome back to all of my beloved subscribers, thank you so much for all your, your support. We do have cards that fell out, I'm not going to keep these, but we have Devil, Five of Swords, and Hierophant. So there's some stress in the relationship, you feel like there's some sort of limitation, but let's proceed on Pisces. So, three shuffles for Pisces, one... Two and three. Okay, so there we go. Let's cut the deck. Oops, what's going on with that? Hmm. Okay. All right, so Pisces at the bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Look at you. Riding the wheel of fate, of destiny, rolling in your favor, turning in your favor. In the recent past, you and a beloved a lover, whoever your beloved is, temperance card, really finding a happy medium ground, uh, being in a very strong position. It can be reconciliation or reconciling any decision that you're making about the relationship. It's happy energy. It really embodies a very strong spiritual core in your relationship that you want to both behave very honorably. Deep love, good. In the current energy, ouch, eight of cups, walking away somebody feels well this is mutual energy so this could mean that you're discussing an old breakup or that you're discussing having a breakup or leaving each other for this period of time we'll see how this unfolds okay so what we're seeing here is it looks like you've had a reconciliation that's falling apart we have the knight of wands energy is in and out energy it can be that you're reconciling that that's okay, that somebody is going to come and go, come and go, come and go. But we're going to find out here for you, Pisces. The lover's card is how your person sees you, Pisces. They see you as their soulmate. They want you to choose them. In their heart space, they're not very happy with what's going on. The Ten of Cups is how they want or how they would like to see the relationship move forward. If you are married to this person, it looks like there may be uh, some behavior going on that your person's not happy about. That'll only be for some of you, though. Your mutual energy is very nurturing. It's a Queen of Pentacles energy. It's Capricorn energy. It really states that both of you want the relationship. You want to nurture the relationship. You like how grounded the relationship is. What else do we have? This is what Spirit is recommending, building, build a legacy. I'm having a hard time talking. You'd think that Mercury was retrograde, but it is not. So we get the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Spirit is recommending, put down roots, invest, make this happen what's your outcome at this time so this is more of a predictive reading this is not where you've been necessarily this is a prediction for the future it says that you're all up in your head both of you are that your outcome is that there's no there's no solution or outcome right now it looks as though pisces you are just staying quiet it looks as though you're going to keep, you're not going to take any action here whatsoever. This can also be, I will say this, because you have Capricorn energy, because there's a lover's card, because there's a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles, I would say this could also involve with the Capricorn Queen, somebody having to leave for a period of time and go live somewhere else temporarily for work. So for those of you who are like contractors, if there's any military contractors out there, that could be an interpretation. But straight up, it also can be just plain old relationship problems. All right, so we're going to clarify. So it'll be different for different people. This is a general reading. Take, take what's yours from the buffet table and leave the rest. Okay, Pisces, why do you have the Wheel of Fortune as your overall energy for the reading? So all's well that ends well. Oh, interesting. Wheel of Fortune with the Death card. So according to this, 
if somebody walks away, you might want to let them go, but we'll see. We have Four of Wands energy. Both of you are very much in the recent past wanting to have stability together. That is also a marriage card, marriage card, marriage card. Interesting. So the Wheel of Fortune can also bring an ending of some sort that helps you have the success you want. This is a really, okay. So now we get the King of Swords energy. Whatever's happening here does look like it could be business related for some. For others though, again, this is a, just a straight up breakup. And it looks like it would be marriage, you know, maybe from a marriage. Okay. Somebody could be leaving for another woman because when we get the two queens, we at least have to look at the possibility of another woman. Some player energy here. All right, why is the lover's card here? Soulmate card, seven of cups. So Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that that is uh, Scorpio energy. This is your energy though. You may be leaving, your partner may be leaving. Somebody's leaving. I'm not sure which though it's going to be. It'll be different for, you know, it can be a vice versa reading, but it shows that there is a really beautiful, your person really feels that you're the one for them. So I would say that maybe you're leaving because you're looking at the Queen of Wands. Your person is looking at you as a player who's looking at someone else. Very interesting. Again, I think this is a very vice versa reading. This is very interesting to me. All right, we have fire in the belly. We have fire in the belly. Your person has fire in the belly to fight for the relationship. So Sagittarius energy, a lot of Sag. Sag, Sag, Sag. So you might be dealing with a Sag. We have the lightweight in love, okay. So what your person wants is the Ten of Cups, but what they deliver, Pisces, is the Page of Cups. There could also be an age difference or there could be children involved in the relationship, especially if it looks like there's a marriage at stake here. It does look like there's a marriage at stake. It really does. It looks like somebody had an affair. It looks like somebody, you know, but it looks like you have a very solid love relationship and yet it looks like something went wrong the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles this is divine love taurus energy capricorn energy the ten of pentacles why is it here four of cups so spirit is saying that you should work through the boredom because this is something that happens sometimes and that you should try to preserve the relationship as the advice of spirit Eight of Cups, so is the outcome. Somebody becomes single here. It looks straight up like there's going to be a divorce. One person really wants this marriage and the other person really doesn't. This walk away, Eight of Cups, going to the Ten of Cups. Again, Pisces, it's really hard to tell. It really I would say it's your lover instead of you, but the fact that they see you as their soulmate is so interesting. So I'm not sure. You're going to need to tell me in the comments exactly how this reads for you individually. We're going to look at the Shaman's Dream Oracle for uh, some advice here. We're going to look at Moonology, and we are also going to look at Messages of Love in the Oracle cards. What is happening here for our Pisces friends? Empty well, time to replenish. So the relationship has been running on empty. Both of you have been busy with other things. Unfortunately, it looks like other somebody's been busy with another person. But it says that you focus, both of you in the relationship, focus too much on the duties of the relationship as opposed to the emotional health of the relationship. Protect the future, the dragon's hoard. That's what spirit is saying. Spirit is saying, don't, 
don't get divorced. I do think you're going to be in separation or you are, but I'm not seeing the cards of divorce specifically. Okay. We see the divine feminine. So this is twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, transmuting pain. It makes sense, right? Oh my gosh. Pisces. I just feel so badly for you. This is a really tough reading, but it also looks like there's a lot of hope here. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have, it's, you're very close to achieving your goal. Time to take, time to breathe out. Okay, so it looks like this has been going on for some of you. And it looks as though right now you're just trying to make things work for you. You're doing you. You're letting your person do them. Your feeling is very much that whatever will happen, K sera sera, whatever will be, will be. You're not going to try to force things. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other, which to me is the energy of a reconciliation. So... It just seems almost like a warped timeline, like the timeline, something's off here. So very interesting. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now to protect yourself, Pisces. Okay, I'm gonna pull a destiny card also. It's time to decide about this relationship. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's time to decide, okay. Let's see what your destiny is with this relationship. Let's see from the Sacred Destiny Oracle what we have here in terms of what's going to happen. So it really looks, it's a very disconcerting reading. Somebody's leaving and somebody wants to stay and work things out. So, okay. Transformation, a new, a fresh new way of living emerges on the death card. All right, one more destiny card. Overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. So again, free will will play the crowning or the leading role in this relationship, but it does look like there is a breakup and a transformation and a time to let things go. So, Pisces, I wish you well. Take care. Bye-bye.